coming forward to support the University of, Educa uh, University of Nottingham and the School of Education uh, and sharing, um, you know, ELT resources um, uh, that are 21st century, that, are, that have been researched uh, and developed uh, by, you know, big successful establishments. You know, these are, these are materials that are developed by, you know, successful establishments. And I think they will share with us the concepts, the ideas behind some of these materials um, and how they work. Um, and, you know, uh, for Keith and, and David, you know, uh, with my students, I've been going through, you know, so what are the key things they need to look at when they are looking at resources and uh, how they can use these resources and so on. Um, so for the students, uh, in case you have not read, um, you know, the bio data of our two presenters, I'll just quickly read them to you. Uh, Keith Thong is Managing Director of University Bookstore Malaysia. You know, many of you may not know the history behind uh, University Bookstore. University Bookstore uh, is synonymous to higher education in this country. You know, it is synonymous. It, uh, years ago, when people thought of getting anything for any discipline of study, uh, the only place they would think about is University Bookstore because they usually uh, had stock of all of these things. And if they didn't, then they would get those stock for you because, you know, these were these were the during during the years where, you know, hard copy books were the only source of uh, learning and knowledge. Right. So so the history of University Bookstore is is very, very long. It's equivalent to uh, the history of higher education in this country, if, if you like to put it that way. Right. Um, <laughs> And they used to be their their initial uh, uh, setup used to be in University of Malaya, right? Oh. It, it was again synonymous to University of Malaya uh, at that time. Um, so um, you know, and they are they are market leaders. They are market leaders in innovations in materials. So they they you know scout around the world looking for the best materials in the world, and they try and bring these materials to Malaysia, right? Uh, and you know, uh, provide access to them to teachers and, and institutions. So uh, that's a little bit about uh, Keith, right? Uh, there's a lot more to talk about him, but that's a little bit about Keith. Um, then David, right? David is the digital business manager for uh, UBS, right? Uh, and David is uh, you know well versed with their digital products, uh, especially. Um, and uh, he, you know, um, has been um, is a product specialist and trainer for global brands like Britannica Online, National Geographic Learning, uh, and so on. I mean, th there's a whole lot of them, right? Um, so again, you know, working in that kind of field, uh, they know the kind of resources that are available for ELT use, right? Uh, more than anyone else would know. I think, you know, as teachers, we would we would be exposed to some of them, but these guys, you know, are exposed to all of them and they then, you know, um, review these materials, select what is appropriate, um, and then, you know, try and offer it to uh, the education market in this country. Um, and also regionally, I think more than beyond this country, I think regionally as well. Yep. So. Now, without uh, further taking up that small one hour that we have with them, um, can I now invite, uh, who's going to speak first, Keith or, or Keith? OK, so can I invite Keith uh, to begin the session? Thanks, Prof. Ghana, for the very kind and nice introduction. All right, I don't need to do promotion you do for me already. <laughs> <laughs> OK, basically, I'm not a professor or a teacher as such, but I do give a lot of talks. Now we are basically practitioner. Whatever we do, uh, there's no second chance. If it doesn't work, people will fire you straight away and sack you straight away. So we have to constantly deliver results and constantly help our customer make money. OK, now we are as Prof Ghana has shared, we are established in 1958. All right, that time started with UM and UKM, specialists in import and stuff like that. Now throughout the 63 years, we have gone full circle, not only uh, to the universities alone. We have been serving from preschool, pre-K to 12, 
colleges, corporates, as well as NGO. Now, the key thing to note is that we are in the content business. Now, why we use content? Because content can be in many formats, all right? From print media, such as books, charts, uh, journals, even bookmarks to learn, all right, as such. And then we transit to the CD-ROM era where you have your digital content compressed in a CD-ROM and access to CD-ROM. And now uh, a lot of stuff are in digital format, hosted online or even encrypted on the device. Now say those of you who are teaching in the rural areas, when broadband connectivity is not so good, what do you do? Actually, basically you encrypt all the content to a, maybe an Android box or something, something like that to be deployed on a local area network or wide area network where you don't have internet connectivity. Now for the last 10 years, we have actually been in e-commerce. We have set up online uh, e-commerce bookstore for all our international school clients. All right, and some universities like even University of Malaya, we sell all their language faculty books online, ebooks, everything online for the University of Malaya as well. Now, the one thing you need to know is that our core business now is not so much of university. Our core business is in the international school. Why? Because the international school are the most well adapted. They are real time. All right, the Sultan's children, the minister children, the the ambassador children, and Basically, the rich and famous all goes to international schools. They don't wait for things to happen. Whatever the US have or the UK has or China have, they want it now. All right. So if you want to see the future, you don't need a crystal ball to see the future of education. They are already in the future. So what we are doing is that we are deploying the latest and the most up to date technologies. So today uh, I'm going to share specifically on two English language uh, online teaching and learning products, namely English Central, which is owned by Google Ventures, a Google company. The gist of it, they are using YouTube videos to teach English, and it's really powerful. The important bit is that I want to show you how it's been applied in the economy, in the various education institution, and how people monetize and how people deliver KPI for the country or the faculty or the universities. All right, and another one would be Wella Woods, which is based on the Cambridge English Language Assessment Platform. Um, basically, the KPI is CEFR. All right, at this present moment, they have done for A1, uh, A2, and B1. Okay, this presentation will be in two parts. I'm going to take the theory part, and David will do the online demo for you. And after this uh, presentation, we'll give every one of you who attended this class access because sometimes people say oh great wonderful but where is the user experience how do i get my hands on it test it try it and stuff that all of you will be given access we managed to get uh google as well as uh, uh this uh well i was to to sponsor you guys to use this program so that you 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 get to play with it and see how it use all right now i'm going to share my slide with you okay uh Now, due to time factor, I'm going to go through the presentation pretty quickly. The slides will be given to you. You can access it later on. But uh, Prof Ghana advised that we spend more time interacting with you and uh, basically have a discussion with you and let you guys ask more questions. So the two product would be basically English Central and Vela Woods. Let's go into English Central first. Now, basically, it's a uh, the concept is very simple. It's uh, authentic media. That means real life example that what is happening in our day to day life or around us. All right. Uh, based on these videos. All right. We have about 200 over uh, people processing these videos, looking at big data. What is good? What affect the emotion, the feeling, the trending topics and so on. And they take this video out, clear all the rights and make it into a learning objective so that you can learn in a very organized manner. They have linguistic scaffolding in a sense that it's very structured or mapped to a certain syllabus. Another important bit is the diagnostic speech feedback so that whatever you do is instantly uh, recorded in the cloud and in the cloud itself, there will be an instant feedback to give you the results. And the other thing is the base on uh, game dynamics. What it means is that when we're dealing with this modern generation, when you're on your mobile device or tablet and are constantly online, you need a bit of a rich media uh, kind of a, 
uh, approach to get you all interested. And what is most important that is that it's personalized and you go in full immersion into this uh, language. It's used very widely by many corporates and users around the world. The gist would basically watch, learn and speak. Now, videos are patented. You have a learning mode. This is mainly to share with you the, the screenshots, how it looks like, but I go into the, the, the theory bit, the bigger plan of how this whole system works. There's a video vocabulary system. You have a personalized mind page to record whatever happened to you, what you do, everything that you do from day one is all recorded. Your sound, your voice is all recorded. All right, so that the, the teacher or the faculty can actually uh, record every KPI of each and every student. All right, now it can, they, they, we do have a very comprehensive curriculum design. There are many uh, pre uh, kind of a design courses that you can use based on specific area, as well as you can also do your own course. Like say, for example, uh, there's this teacher who likes, really likes Obama. She actually uh, do the whole course based on all Obama speeches. All right, it can be personalized until that and you can pick and choose the video and the level that you want it can be very personalized. Now we can learn vocabulary pronunciation courses for the skills, English language skills base. The other thing as well sharing is that we have a very powerful LMS learning management system. Now learning management system is the term used in the US environment. In the UK environment, we call it a VLE. Like Malaysia, we call it virtual learning environment. But whether it's an LMS or VLE, what it means that everything is recorded, everything can be quantified, measurable in a system. Okay, you can have a customized page. You can set goals for your students, or even as an individual, you 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 set goals like how many videos you want to watch, how many new words you want to learn, how many lines you want to speak. So there is a measurement and by doing and uh, and practicing there's almost a guaranteed thing that you will improve now the other thing is that lecturers can actually assign and design specific curriculum based on the target audience or the target students that is going to access it that has all the tracking and reports that we can uh, pull out from and do management report for the students parents or even for the faculty as a whole. Now, the thing is that, as I said, everything is recorded online. Your voice will be recorded online. You can't get your sister, your brother or somebody else to do the recording for you because your lecturer can click the button and hear everything you say that has been recorded. OK, there's a lot of helpful resources as well. Uh, if you're stuck in any way, they give you suggestion, they give you videos, they guide the teacher how to teach it. But in Asia, we have a lot of hand holding. Most of the time, David will be coaching the coaches on how to use it, share with them the ideas and so on. And this program is widely used in many big corporates and universities as well. Uh, at this present moment, the things that you can even zoom into specific word that you want to learn, all right? Like say sometimes you do business, you want to learn a few keywords that you want to pronounce until it's so accurate and so, so I mean, so accurate that uh, and the diction is so clear that it, it get imbued into you. All right. Now, the other thing is that it can be accessed on your mobile because we are mainly into mobile technology now. Most of the people learn using mobile. China is leading the global trend of learning using mobile tablets, your laptop, your desktop and so on. All right. And it can be customized, like say, for example, if you choose to use English Central as a as a faculty thing or for your language center or even for your university faculty, we can actually customize and have a bespoke label for your organization institution as well. OK, now. This is the, the key thing. Now, English Central through the many years of experience and report, they can say that if you follow the English Central program by watching, learning and speaking and go live means you book a live session with a tutor online. But most of the time in the schools or the universities, the university will do the go live session with their own students, personalized based on what you're doing and the background of the student that's enrolled for the course. All right. They can say that within three months, they almost guarantee you that 
you will definitely improve and level up. Level up, that means when you join, you could be beginner's level, but you may be, uh, after three months, you may level up to intermediate level and so on. So this is the most guaranteed KPI uh, for you because this program are mainly used by the corporates, all right? They need results, uh, no experiment. Okay, the whole program, how it works is that basically you watch the video, all right? Then you learn the words, all right? The lines, the sentences, and so on, all right? Then you practice speaking, you know? Like say sometimes in a country where English may not be the first language, you've been conversing in Basel, Malaysia, or Chinese every day. Sometimes when you go overseas and you want to do a, a, a paper or talk to people, your English may not be, uh, you may not be using English so frequently, but people are not that forgiving when you're on an international stage, you have to speak perfect English, all right? That the world will understand. As I said, Go Live is where you book a session with uh, individual tutors one-to-one. -one. But generally, it's quite high price. So normally, in this region, we don't recommend Go Live. Now, the, the courses that is offered, basically, we have a very big uh, video library specific to what is your learning objective, what you hope to achieve, all right? Be it academic English or business English and so on. Uh, there is a learning system, all right? based on research showing the input, output, motivation, and the corrective feedback at the right time to help students acquire it as a second language. You can actually practice vocab, build your vocab, because it's your human capital. And we have a very powerful intelligent uh, speech system where they, they process your, your, your speech, your oral skills. And there's a quite a number of uh, teaching tools to assist you, right? Due to time factor, I'm actually presenting very fast, but given more time, this presentation can last for five hours actually. But, but because due to time factor, we just give the gist of it all. Now the pedagogical approach is this, three key principles to a successful learning experience. Now, the first thing will be motivating content. We all know that yeah, teaching, you need to have very good uh, teachers. Your teacher must have showmanship, your teacher have to be charismatic, it will inspire you. But the thing is that, the most important thing is that, is it going to be interesting to your student? Does it matter? So the content have been motivating, have to be interesting to the students. Like say, if you're teaching a public speaking class, if you get the kids to speak about a topic that is very close to the heart, and they feel very strongly about the topic, you will have a public speaker almost instantly. But if you ask them to speak on a topic that they are not interested in, man, it's going to be really, really difficult to learn that subject. So the content is of your choice. Things that matters to you, it will motivate you. The other thing is that comprehensive input. The What, what it means is that uh, it has to be very easy to understand. Like uh, sometimes we live in a generation that everybody don't want to be stressed. Computer and technology is supposed to assist me and help me not to make my life more difficult, all right? People want to have a very relaxed and enjoyable learning and understandable environment. Now, the other thing is context-based. Context-based is that what are you learning it for? Why do you want to learn it? Uh, in what context? For what application? So it will deliver the KPI for you based on the background and needs, okay? Now, this is the, the, the area of uh, what we call uh, things that we need. What is your objective, your purpose of uh, learning English? Why do you want to learn English? What is it for? How, how does it relate to your life, basically? Now, in the academic environment, maybe we want to learn about the English fundamentals, like basic grammar, pronunciation, all right? Or you may just want to learn English for daily life, for communication, all right? Uh, to watch your YouTube or media clip by understanding better of what you are watching. You may dwell on global issues and uh, news around the world, or you may just learn English to communicate better when you travel to the English speaking countries. Now, another thing is that sometimes one may want to learn it for tests and exam purposes. Uh, the most common ones would be 
IELTS, OPEC, TOEFL, and TOEIC. Now, I think most of you would, would definitely ask me, what is actually OPEC? The rest you heard of it every day, like IELTS mainly you go to Commonwealth countries or British colonies and stuff like that, they will accept IELTS, all right? TOEFL is mainly American. TOEIC is uh, basically uh, for employment, like in Japan, you got to sit for a TOEIC test before you get employed. OPEC is basically oral proficiency interview, all right, on a computer. So that is uh, that kind of test that you may want to do, especially you are doing sales, you need to speak properly. Now, business English, about business communication, management, leadership, presentation skills. Like now when we employ somebody to join our sales team, we ask, can you present? All right. As such, they say, oh, I did something in the university, but I don't know whether I'm good enough. So sometimes people may practice this. Now, the other thing is that uh, the industry specific, like what industry you are in and how do you want to learn? And you want to learn vocab uh, and the background and the culture based on the industry you are in. All right. Now let's go into some details. Now, English fundamentals. English fundamentals, generally, we are talking about grammar and pronunciation. This is hard work and uh, generally, that's a lot to be done. It could take months or years, but we'll get there. Now this, the, the because Google is, is uh, represented in almost every country, we actually have big data. We actually know what are the common challenges. Now, if you look into a language school for the matter, you have students coming from all over the world. You may have some students coming from Portugal, from China, from Spain, and so on and so forth. Now, they even zoom into the common mistakes and the common pronunciation mistakes made by the students based on the background. Like say, for example, a lot of Chinese students always have problems with the R and the L, all right? Like uh, rambutan, they will say lambutan, all right? The, the things that uh, this kind of a common pronunciation error, they'll help you to, 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 to fix it, okay? So based on the background, so you save a lot of time depending on who you're dealing with and who you're teaching, it will zoom into the common errors. Sometimes you don't learn from, from uh, page one to page 100. You can actually choose those areas that need to be fixed because the other areas are generally okay. All right. Now, for general English, it could be daily life, as I said, media, global issues and news. Now, global issues and news is one of the new topic like in the uh, in the international school at this present moment, they have a new topic called global perspective. That means you don't live on your own. You need to know what is happening around you, the current affairs, the current issues, so that every time you talk to people, you can engage in an interesting conversation and people will see that you have your views, you can express it and what is happening around you rather than just glued to your, to your screen and watching uh, anime or something like that. On, and travel is always popular. People learn learn the language to travel. Okay. Now, test preparation, uh, depending on the level that you're sitting for the test and how you want to prepare for the test, English Central has programs that guide you step by step, level by level, structured, a very structured and uh, organized manner to help you uh, prepare for the test. Because sometimes, right, I, I was just sending my daughter for IELTS test. For within the three hours, they charge us 1,000 ringgit. So if you don't prepare, you don't do well in that three hours, you burn 1,000 ringgit of your parents' money and you got to do it again, all right? So you must well practice it until you go in and you're almost certain and guaranteed that you, you will do well, okay? Now, the, um, the business English. Business English is the, one of the most popular because that's where all the money is, all right? <clears throat> now, business English generally, uh, like say in Malaysia or many other countries, you have such things like the HRDF fund, Human Resource Development Fund, where in the in the manufacturing and servicing sector, like uh, one or two percent of the salary is kept into this fund, so that the the staff and the employee will constantly need to upgrade their skills. All right, and uh, when you want to export generally you need english no matter what you do you still need to communicate all right with the rest of the world to export so this is where all the money is and if you are a teacher or a school you can actually now hrdf for a lot of funds like 
Panjana funds, uh, gig funds, uh, and so on and so forth. You can actually give training to, to corporate or corporate leaders, and you can earn from the money that they already kept with the government. It's just like giving back the money to you for what you save for the government for training and development. <clears throat> we, we sometimes call it CPD, continuing professional development and training. All right. Now there will there there's always update and and uh to what the public or the global training needs. Like say for example, business culture. I was pretty surprised when I spoke to one of my PTA members. He said he's the business culture director of Air Asia. Wow, is that such a job? <laughs> all right. They look into the culture of the company. All right. So this is something new. So they are even updated to this. Now the other thing would be um. Uh, industry specific. Now, industry specific traditionally in the language and 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 uh, <clears throat> linguistic faculty, you provide ESAP class English for specific and academic purposes. Now, English and specific purposes is that basically the gist of it is say is saying that I don't need to be an English professor. I just need to learn enough English for my business segment for my industry specific needs. I just need to earn a living. I just need to chari makan, and I just need enough English for me to survive. All right. So we have actually brought learning of um, ESAP to a new level where we actually use media, videos, and um, a very uh, organized uh, recording system for for KPI. Okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> generally, a summary is English Central, they use authentic videos, all right? You build your vocabulary, you speak, and you get instant feedback, and you can also do tutoring with your teacher and online. Now, let me show you how it's been applied uh, uh, in the, in the uh, what do you call that, in real life case studies. I've been taking a lot of time, so very quickly, uh, like say in Thailand, uh, the Thai government or the king actually come out with a sum of money so that the students get employed. Like say, if you look at the this this picture here, they have a celebrity speaker teaching 1,000 students at one go. Everybody is given English Central and they pick the topic and the industry that they want to move into so that they can be employable. All right. Now, Japan is given the whole nation English Central as well so that they prepare the whole nation for the 2020 Olympics so that everybody knows a bit of English based on their industry. Huawei, every Huawei staff have English Central on their phone because they're going to sell their Huawei product into every industry. Malaysia international schools will all, a lot of them come from Scholar Kebangsaan as well as Chinese school, but when they move to secondary school, the English needs to be on par with the other students who are native speakers. So they use English Central to help them uh, cash up very fast. And community broadband centers are giving this to, to the public to use as well. And the Sarawak State Library in Sarawak English is the main uh, language of communication. All frontliners must have good English. So this is the uh, English Central. Now time is really catching up. Now when I was basically is life English, learning English, the next best thing to living in an English speaking country. It's just like you're teleporting yourself into an English town. You communicate with people, you mix with people, and you speak English. All right. Now, basically, I don't really have much time because our prof has said that we spend more time into um, Q and A. Now, this will be the summary of all of it. All is uh, only complete English online course, specifically designed for self study, which which is used and tested, which is used as tried and tested syllabus. You use technology uh, based on gaming and flame making, all right, to create a next generation e-learning experience without being a game. And uh, the uh, Kanagi speech system is really powerful. You can read about this later on, how it works. It provides progress and feedback. It gives you a certification. Last time they only worked with Cambridge, but now they work with every examination board and any university that they want to. And they basically have a virtual teacher. Every time you're stuck, they will actually help you uh, or prompt you or guide you. And there's lots of bells and whistles and practice that you can use. All right. There's a lot of reporting courses are available for A1, A2, as well as B1. 
and uh, the target audience, it could be B2C, that means uh, to consumer or individual users, B2B, to a corporate, to a university, to a class, to government and uh, other deployment. Example of a structured cost, like say this for A1, like say each cost is very organized, it will go and zoom into learning objectives that what you will learn and how you're going to learn it as such. And the other thing is that we even have a physical printed textbook if you want to, so that you can record all your learning. OK, uh, I, I, I know I've been getting a lot of uh, uh, reminders to stop. So this is the last slide actually. So it's very engaging. It used the gaming and film technology, uh, CFR objective, and uh, very personalized. I just show you one example. In the UK, a lot of people want to be a UK citizen. But if you don't speak English, you can't be a UK citizen. You'll be amazed. Some people who don't really speak much English, within six months, they can actually complete A1, A2, and even possibly B1. All right. So it depends how desperate you are to learn English. And if that's a will, there will always be a way, and you can actually achieve your, your English skills pretty quickly. OK, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to hand back the session to the chair. Right, thanks, Keith. Um, yeah, so because we need to also give some time to, um, you know, yes. uh, the other presentation. So mm. now can I can I invite um, David you know, for, the, for the next presentation? So you want to unshare that, Keith? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure already, right? OK, all right. OK, thank you. So over to you, David. David, it's all yours. OK, right. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gana, OK, for this um, uh, opportunity for me to basically uh, and Keith to come over here and uh, basically present the product itself. Today, I will just basically share with you um, the uh, platform, uh, just go through the system, how it works uh, for English Central. Um, then after that, then of course, uh, Miss Chai will help me to uh, play some of the videos, two videos which I have, okay? Because I know that um, if I were to present the, um, how to call it, uh, product itself, it's going to take some time. But uh, nevertheless, um, end of the day, uh, if anyone basically, as I said, um, uh, who wants to look at the product itself, uh, can basically contact us. We'll set up an account for each and every one of you to uh, basically engage into it. So I will um, now share my screen. So this is basically English Central's platform, all right? Um, so we have a lot of the videos uh, in the platform itself. Uh, and uh, of course, each of this uh, account, you have to register inside there. Uh, either you're a teacher or a student, okay? As a teacher, of course, you can create your basically uh, admins, okay? So where here, you can, uh, you can basically um, set up your own uh, classrooms, your own schools. Uh, and then engage the students inside there and then assign all of the uh, courses for them all right inside here all right okay so later i will show you all uh, how it works basically from there okay but in the meantime i want to show you how it works for english central now here in the central okay on the top end all right there is basically uh, a lot of categories all right we have the business categories if you were to click on it um, all of the videos on businesses are tabulated into this area. And uh, the best part is that um, if, let's say, for example, um, students want to start from the beginner, okay, what they can do is they can go to the inter uh, site here and basically pick uh, for the beginners. And all of the uh, videos for beginners, they are here. Hold on. Okay. All right, OK, so you each and every one of the videos you can basically pick and then you can run the programs on, on it. All right. Um, hold on for a while, it's rolling. Do apologize for the uh, um, excess. I think it's because uh, right now a lot of people are having, uh, you know, uh, interaction with the uh, Internet right now. So our malicious uh, platforms are, you know, a bit slow. So going straight forward, OK, so there is basically businesses, medias, socials, uh, basically videos. If you want to go for traveling, you can also basically you can uh, go to that area and pick all the videos. If let's say, for example, academics, if you want to learn basically uh, pure basic English, you can also basically pick on that. Um, for children also, if they want to uh, learn English as young as uh, five years old, uh, six years old, seven years old, they also can pick in some of the videos over there for that. We also have the grammar, 
uh, videos uh, for students who want to learn grammar. And of course, uh, as uh, Keith was uh, mentioning just now in his uh, presentation, uh, we also have the pronunciation. Uh, all the videos, once you watch already, okay, um, each person will be kept into their own uh, account uh, so that in the future, if they want to basically look at their videos, what they have seen, uh, they can also look at it. Um, and uh, they can see, you know, how have they um, how to improve their, how to call it, um, uh, lessons. Uh, and if they want to basically improve more of it, um, you know, they can also basically look back at the videos itself. Mm -hmm. Now, all these videos, um, it can be basically for educational purposes, uh, corporate levels where people want to uh, go for, let's say, for example, uh, purchasing departments want to improve their English customer service if they want to, um, you know, increase their, uh, how to call it, um, uh, customer service, uh, uh, how to call it, the uh, uh, English uh, proficiencies, they also can basically go into area. Now, not only the uh, professional side, okay, uh, a lot of times people would say, you know, English, you know, as, as I want to learn, of course, I would have some humor in life so that, you know, it brings back a person basically who has the intention of want to learn, which um, also English Central do have that in, in terms of humor itself. Uh, for example, I can give you this one here. All right. Uh, I'll click this one for you to show you. So, for example, you click on this video. And uh, you basically uh, watch the video. OK. Uh, but always basically you listen to it, okay, you watch, then after that, then you will learn the words, and then after that, then you can record yourself inside there. Now, this is just basically an example, okay, because I've done this many times, so um, um, it, it might basically bounce. Right, here we go. So this is basically one of the videos. So what I do is basically I watch this, click on it. What's the buttons? The installed voice recognition technology in this lift. So I can stop, all right, okay. And for example, if I want to learn the word uh, recognition here, voice recognition, I can click on it. And I can basically... Voice recognition, voice recognition. You know, play the, the, the words, all right, okay. And of course, uh, if I want to know how to pronounce it, I can go into this, uh, basically... Uh, <laughs> Oi. In this area itself. So, of course, here it will tell you what is the meaning of voice recognition. Okay, they will tell you right here and how it basically the words been made from that. So, but then after that, then if I understand this word, then I can continue and watch. Voice recognition technology in a lift in Scotland. You ever tried voice recognition technology? No. They don't do Scottish accents. Eleven. Could you please repeat that? Eleven. Could you please repeat that? Eleven. Whose idea was this? You need to try an American accent. Eleven. That sounds Irish. You're American. Eleven. Where in America is that? Don't want to try an English accent, right? <clears throat> Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. You for the same part of England as Dick Van Dyke? Please speak slowly and clearly. Eleven. I'm sorry. Could you please repeat that? Eleven. 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 You're just saying it the same way. You want to keep saying it until I understand Scottish, all right? Just say it as anywhere you can. This is a voice-activated elevator. Please state which floor you would like to go to in a clear and calm manner. You have not selected a floor. If you would like to get out of the elevator without selecting a floor, simply say, open the doors, please. Maybe we should just say please. So this is basically you watch the videos, all right, okay. Then after that, then you learn the words. Okay, so once you finish watching the videos, um, they will basically come up with the same uh, sen uh, sentences uh, on the on the video itself. Then after that, then you basically learn the words uh, in each every one of them. Now, another one good thing is basically so you can speak the line. So in the line here, you will speak, all right, okay. Uh, you can record yourself uh, into, the, into the recording, all right, okay. And then after that, then if you, let's say, for example, uh, give an example here, okay. Voice recognition technology. 
Okay, so once you recorded yourself anyway um, from this uh, system itself, okay, you ask you to record yourself, and then after that, then you can listen back to your your recording. They installed voice recognition technology in us. So, like for example, here, okay, um, that which I did previously, okay, I can do a voice recognition. Voice recognition. Voice recognition technology. So you can see I have the um, the background there. Okay, all right. So it's a bit like because um, sometimes the internet you have to uh, you know you have a stable one. So today because too many people in the you know in the, in the, in the today's working life a lot of people then you can't. But as you can see, if I can do a comparison, if I record it, if I click on it, voice recognition. Voice recognition. So you can hear my 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 recording. All right. So let's say, for example, here, okay, all is in green, meaning that I have to basically pronounce it properly. But if let's say there's a plus or, you know, as a there's a P, okay, in some of the sentences, meaning that, you know, I didn't pronounce it properly. So then from there, I can go back again and then basically practice again and record the, um, the, the sentence again and, and read it again. So you can do it every time, uh, anytime and, um, you know, um, and practice uh, accordingly. There's no time limit. There's no basically, um, uh, you know, uh, period of, uh, you know, uh, attempts that you, you can basically uh, do for this thing. So it's basically open for everyone until that person perfectly, um, you know, uh, read out that sentence correctly in, in, the, in the system itself. So, OK, so um, just like I share with you uh, another one here, OK, which is basically the um, administration. So in, in the platform itself, if you register as a, as a lecturer or as a teacher or trainer, um, we have the platforms at the back where you can basically set up all the courses. You can pick all the videos that you want for your classes and then, um, you know, you then pro provide that lessons to your students. Uh, in the back end there, you will have the uh, uh, reports uh, where you can monitor the, the students watching the videos. Uh, then after that, then, you know, listen to their recordings. If uh, let's say, for example, if, uh, you know, if they want to make that uh, uh, assessment, then from there, um, you know, the teachers can see if they basically pronounce it properly or not. And then from there, if, to help them, they can basically add more of the videos for them to basically uh, to go ahead from there. OK, um, I think I just want a bit slow to do my internet. I do apologize. Um, if um, Miss uh, Chai can um, uh, play the two videos uh, for me, okay? This is basically um, just to let you have a clear picture for English Central, and the other one is basically for the, um, uh, how to call it, Bella uh, Woods English. Um, so after that, then if you all want to have a test uh, or you're on a trial, I can basically set it up for you all, and then you all can have a look at it. And then of course, I'll give you my contact. Then from there, if you all want to, you know, ask any more questions from there, then I will basically uh, be uh, happy to uh, uh, reply to you all. Okay, Ms. Chai, if you could please. Welcome to English Central, a fun and effective way to improve your English online. Dive into an ocean of interesting videos. Quite the fast. More efficient lighting. Japanese Vietnam. You choose what to watch from a wide range of topics. But don't just sit there, speak. He boldly continues to work. Our unique technology provides helpful feedback on your pronunciation and fluency, so you can focus on the sounds that are most challenging for you. Mm -hmm. While you're watching and speaking videos, you're also learning words. Awesome. In fact, English Central monitors your progress on every word to help you build your vocabulary. Respect. Move up to the next level once you've mastered the words on your current one. People from around the world are using English Central, and you can compete with them or your own circle of learners for top ranking. Whatever your motivation, English Central is here to help you watch, learn, and speak your way to English success. All right. And the next one will be the um, the uh, Vela Woods, please, Ms. Chai. Thank you. Welcome to Vela Woods English, the unique and enjoyable English language learning experience. 
Learning a new language can be challenging. However, from the moment you log into Vellawood's English, you'll experience a whole new world of interactive learning. Travel through a story filled with real-life situations that revolve around you and the other characters living in the virtual world of Vellawood's. Come and meet the people who live in Vellawood's, in their homes, at work, and when they go shopping. As you travel around the town, you will get involved in a range of day-to-day -day scenarios. This will help you to develop language skills that will be useful in real life. Even better, you can talk to the characters. State-of-the-art Carnegie speech analysis will provide detailed feedback on your pronunciation. Bella Woods English's learning experience is true self-study. It is carefully structured and supported so that you can easily learn on your own. However, your own virtual teacher will guide and assist you throughout your course. What's more, on successfully completing each course, you will receive a certificate of completion, which you can print or share with your friends on social media channels. You are in control, so you can decide how much time you want to spend learning each day. Interactive exercises, games and quizzes offer an enjoyable way to practice, improve and expand your language skills. You can choose which language skills you want to practice, like grammar usage and speaking. You can access all this from your PC, your tablet or your smartphone, so it's available 24 hours a day, whenever you want to learn. Just visit bellawoodsenglish.com. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. So um, I will uh, basically um, um, throw out the, um, uh, you know, uh, any questions, Q&A um, from uh, the um, uh, audience itself. Uh, so Mr. Kip Tong and I will be happy to answer them. All right. Thank you. Thank you, David. And thank you, Keith, um, you know, for, for, you know, sharing the session just now and about the resources.